With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. We have a question from the chapter waves. A column of air is at 51 degrees Celsius, and the tuning fork produces four beats per second when sounded together. As the temperature of the wire is decreased. The number of beats per second tends to decrease, and when the temperature is 16 degrees Celsius, the two produce one beats per second. We have to find out the frequency of the tuning fork. So let us assume frequency of tuning fork is equals to something. Let us assume eta. So in the first case, it is producing four beats per second. The important concept here is that we know force is directly proportional to velocity. We write fundamental frequency as uh, the frequency. Sorry, my mistake. The frequency is directly proportional to velocity. So we now we know v frequency is v by two l. So it will be directly proportional to velocity. And we know velocity of sound in gas is directly proportional to temperature to the power half. That is root of temperature. So if we have two frequencies, f one and f two, we can write this relation that f one by f two will be equal to root t one by root t two. So, for the first case, when the number of beats is four, let us assume that the column air of air column has greater frequency than the tuning fork. Why are we assuming that? Because as we are decreasing the temperature, the value of f is going to decrease. The frequency of the air column is going to decrease, and as the number of beats is decreasing, so it is clear cut that the first frequency should be greater. That is. Frequency of air column should be greater. So initially, if it was f, so f one minus eta is equals to four. So from here we have f one equals to eta plus four. And for the second case, we can have two things that when we are decreasing the temperature, it can be either f two minus eta equals to one or eta minus f two equals to one. So What we'll do? Let us consider both the cases. So for the first case, f two minus eta equals to one. F two is equals to one plus eta. So if we put this using this relation, if we take the ratio of f one by f two, so it will become n plus four by n plus one equals to under root t one. What is t one? Initial temperature is fifty one. So under root. Two seventy three plus fifty one divided by under root two seventy three. The final temperature is sixteen. So two seventy three plus sixteen. This is two eighty nine and this is three twenty four. So it will be root. So it will become eighteen by seventeen. So from here solving what we get, our n comes eta comes out as it will be equals to using ratio proportion. It will be equals to fifty hertz. So we have found out for the first case. Now, simultaneously, let us find out for the second case. That is, f two equals to eta minus one. So in this case, it will be eta plus four divided by eta minus one. The temperature is same, so it will become eighteen by seventeen only. So eighteen by seventeen. So solving from here, eta comes out as eighty six hertz. So there can be two possible values, either 50 hertz or 86 hertz. So have a look at the options. Only one option, that is 50 hertz, has been given in the question. So for the given question, our correct answer will be D. That is, 50 hertz will be the frequency of the tuning fork. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.